Y'all know it's hotter than two rats fucking in a wool sock outside, and I want something cold to eat. Simple, elegant, rustic, pasta salad. Let's do this. First things up, gotta get your pot. The best pot. Championship kind. Not recently, but we working on this shit, okay? We got a good recruit class this year, real tight. Get your pot filled up with water. Bring that some bitch to a rolling bowl. If I can figure out how to work this damn space age shit they put in my house. There we go, on high. To this pot, you're gonna add like that much olive oil. Yeah, that's I'm on. I don't know why they always do it, and I trust the Italians, okay? So add a little bit of olive oil to the pot Then, you're gonna get you a little pinch of salt. Throw that in there too, I think it gives it like a salt. I don't fucking know why you just add the shit, because it tastes good. I'm wait for it to come to a bowl. I ain't waiting on the pasta water to boil. I'm gonna teach y'all how to make my favorite summertime drink. All right, keep the triple B. Damn little tumbler right here, fill it up with ice. Keep some Sprite Zero, cause you know health. All right, get you about three gloves in there. One, two, three. Perfect, let's fill it, fill it down. After that, get you some peach juice. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. This comes straight out the great state of Georgia from my buddy with Botox. If y'all don't follow my buddy on Botox, on the tick, that's his name on TikTok. Y'all don't follow him, make sure you do. You just take you a little splash. I like that right there and put it in there. It's lemon, lime, and peach flavor. Let me tell y'all something right now. You're trying to beat your brains off trying to get it off the face. It's so damn good. Close this thing up because it's got a good little tight thing to it. Shake it up, get you a little sweet. There's absolutely nothing better than that right there. Now come on, pasta water. All right, while the pasta water is heating up and everything, after you get your drink made, you still got a few things you gotta do. There's a little bit of manual labor involved in this shit. To get you one six ounce pack of pepperonis, Chop them up, and because I'm a dumbass and I didn't get the sliced black olives, I gotta cut all these little motherfuckers up too, so just bear with me. All right, when y'all are cutting these up, ain't gotta be no fancy shit. You just wanna cut them one way, rotate them, quarter them out like that right there. Turn one pepperoni into four. That's all there is to it. My hands are entirely too damn big, and this is some of the dumbest shit I've ever done in my life, and I've been to three county fairs and a goat. Hold the fuck up. I just got an Amazon package yesterday. Y'all hold that thought for just one second here. Hang on. If, if this motherfucker right here works at all, like it said it was going to, shit's fitting to change. Let me get this, hold up. Let me see if I just push it down and just, that don't work worth a fuck. Why ain't that working? What'd I do wrong? What'd I do wrong? Did I do something wrong? Oh, I gotta put the piece in it. I gotta put the piece in it. Where, where'd the piece go? Piece go like this. All right, round two. <laughs> Words smarter, not harder. I'm about to break, look at that. I ain't chopping shit. Stay, motherfucker. Hiya! Yo, this right here, the tits. I mean, you just put the shit down, you lay it down, you're like, what? Are you talking about my nanny? I'll slap the fuck out of you, you understand that? They don't want none of this. I'll just slap it right here. This motherfucker is shit. Look, I'm almost done. You realize I'd still be on like olive number 13? Hold up, y'all wanna see the grand finale? Hold up, forgot one. Get in there, huh? Keep us up. Uh! Hammer time. Uh... Motherfucker need to hurry up, okay? I done got all my shit ready, and you ain't bored yet. What have you been doing? You must be a Democrat. You don't wanna work, do you? Finally, this shit came to a boil. Now once it's at a hard boil, you're gonna add 12 ounces of bow tie pasta. She looks like Pee Wee Herman. Okay, right there. Throw that shit in there. Once you get your pasta in there, stir it up for just like 15 seconds. Make sure the shit don't stick to the bottom. Okay, and also, I was gonna say something else. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like every three minutes, come back, stir the shit so it don't stick. Now you got your pasta boiling, you already got your pepperonis chopped up, you got your black olives chopped up, now it's time for the good shit, okay? You're gonna need three ounces of mozzarella cheese, the little bitty small balls. If you can't find the small balls, go get a big ball, cut it into small balls. Women, y'all love cutting balls off, just do that shit. And the best part, the Pierre Regalzistance, or whatever the fuck them French people say, one cup feta cheese, this gives it bite, all right? Don't ask me what that means, it just gives it bite. You pour all that shit in here and mix it up. You got all your fixings all mixed up in the bowl here. Now this part is completely optional. This is a personal preference for me. It adds a little bit of body to it, adds a little bit of flavor, and I personally love them. You are going to get two ounces of sun-dried tomatoes. 
and you're gonna chop them up however you seem fit and throw them in that mixture. All right, I'm gonna get chopped. have to say this shit but I'm gonna say it for the idiots out there and everything get a different bowl that bowl's hot that pot's hot get a different bowl to mix your pasta salad in or your shit's gonna overcook <laughs> dumbass people in the world take your mixture throw the shit in here okay then take your pasta and throw the shit in here and I'm gonna show y'all the final step all right all right last but not least the last piece of the puzzle all right Get you a thing of zesty Italian dressing. All right, this is a really easy recipe. This is what I make for cookouts and shit when I was supposed to bring something and forgot I was supposed to bring something. I can whip this shit up in 15 minutes. All right, get your zesty Italian. Don't ask me how much to use. You use as much as you like. Some people like sloppy, some people like dry. I prefer, I prefer it sloppy, but that's a personal preference. So you just add this shit in there. Last but not least, get you two spoons. They do not have to match. This was a fucking accident. Take them down in the bowl, mix this shit up. <laughs> Y'all know that sound right there? If you don't know that sound right there, you ain't married and you ain't never found true love. <laughs> uh, I love my brain. <laughs> all right, once you got all the shit mixed up, got all the flavors incorporated, I could be like somewhat civil about this and go get my own fork, but this is already dirty and I don't like doing dishes. So I'm just gonna go in here like a real man, make sure I get a little piece of everything. That right there, nobody will ever be mad at that. I'm telling you right now, make this shit for your friends. Don't make it for your enemies. They don't deserve this stuff. This has been Cooking with Zach. I'll be back in a couple days with another one. Shit, I'm fucking hungry. Y'all go ahead and screenshot this right here. This will give you everything you need to know when you go to the grocery store. Gotta be a wrap on Cooking with Zach. This shit ain't that damn hard. Quit asking your wives to cook your supper and do it your damn self. I'm out.